We're on the same river today uh, that we were on um, a couple days ago digging. We didn't find a whole lot the other day, but we're at a different spot, so I'm more hopeful. More! That's more in roar, by the way. The water's a lot clearer today. It's often crystal clear, but it's not quite crystal today, but you can actually see down a few feet. Five minutes away from where we're going to check, it might be a really quick hunt. Probably will be, because it's 4.30 already. Got a really late start today. Uh, but we're going to try it anyway and find something good. One thing. Let's do it. Yeah, it's a lot clearer than it was the other day. It's amazing what just a day or two makes. Um, hopefully we'll find some good stuff in here. Uh, there should be like a Civil War camp in this area. And what's this? That's a strap, isn't it? I know what that is. That's a strap off a truck. Woo! That's an old one, though. I don't think we'll be keeping that. I actually brought my gear with me today. I got my bag, and I got my rope. I put my tether on there. That's a muskrat hole right there. That's where the muskrat lives, up in there. All right, let's look around. Yeah, it looks like another homemade boat anchor. This piece of railroad. Well, I thought it was rail with a hook on it, but it's just a big piece of iron of some sort. Uh, I'm going to see if that one. I've also found a couple sinkers, but just modern ones. Um, it's getting deeper up here, so... I'm hoping there's a couple cannonballs laying down there for us. This piece of iron here just gave me a really high squeak. Almost looks like a ramrod, or part of a ramrod. It may be broken. But I can also see something else down in there. Is that a phone? <laughs> what is that? No. Nah. Some type of electronics. Press for help. I don't think that's going to work out here. I'll throw it in a boat. I don't see anything else. Something was giving a really high squeak. It must have been that iron, which is unusual. Iron doesn't normally do that. Uh, just it was a pure, pure high squeak. All right, we'll put it in here for now. Well, I got a doodad. And a bobber. I like the bobber better than the doodad. I'm going to leave the doodad. That's a muskrat hole right there. Well, muskrat lives up underneath that grass right there. It's a good place for him. Nice and safe. There's an old turtle down there. Not sure what kind it is. Let's check him out. Two of them. Yes, that's Paul and little Jake. I'll try not to step on them. I'll go ahead and move up here in front of them. Well, I can almost say I'm not skunked. Here's a nice horseshoe. I do collect them and I will save that one. So. There's something else over there. It looks like a spring of some sort. What do you think? Let's see if we can grab it too. Two for one. No, couldn't grab it. We're gonna let that one go. I wonder if that thing is up there. Yeah, let's go look at it. I suspect it's junk, but we need to look at it at least. Yeah, it's a piece of wood and a lid off of something. I'm not gonna pick it up. We're pretty close to a road up here, so there's gonna be tons of uh, trash in here. There's a fishing lure. Well, maybe we'll find a phone or a GoPro. Could be one in here. Yeah, getting a lot of metal up in here, but it looks like mostly modern stuff. Not sure what that is, but look, it's weird. The water's getting cloudy all of a sudden. Something's going on upstream. You can hear some type of uh, bulldozer or something over there, but I'm, I'm sure they're not getting in the water. Weird. Hope it's not a flood coming. Flash flood. I don't think they're gonna come out in the river, but boy, they're knocking down some trees right on the edge. I wonder what they're doing. Starting to run into a lot of pipe and stuff in here. It's got a nice big signal here. I'm pretty sure that's just a piece of pipe and not a musket barrel. Yeah, pipe. A lot of it. We're close to a, close to a road and you can see this is a fishing area. So, but that's a good place though. That's just where people dump stuff. Kind of tough to hunt because there's so much, uh, so many pipes in here. You can see them on the bottom right there. There's actually one stuck in that tree right there too. Uh, there's probably boat docks and stuff here, so it's going to be a tough place. Of course, the water was a little more clear, uh, but then we could see him. It makes it easier to hunt, but we'll, we'll keep looking for a while longer yet. Hopefully, he doesn't come over here and run us over. Yeah, this is definitely a more modern dumping area. I mean, there's a lot of junk in here. 
Um, I'll let you listen to this machine because it's just going nuts. Hear it? You can hear it over that bulldozer. What's all the signals in there? We'll pick through them though. Um, I'll go after the best iron ones, the ones that sound most like cannonballs and guns. Um, that's all we can do for right now. We'll come back another day for sure when it's not muddy like that. Because if I could see, it'd make it so much easier here. But it's totally muddy all of a sudden. I'm not sure what happened. Definitely not that guy though. I'm surprised I let him clear that close to the river. Normally there's a buffer zone, I'm sure there is here. That's a really neat spring that's popping out of the hill right there. Looks so pure and fresh. I don't think I'd uh, drink it or anything though, but it is cool. Man, I hate to say it, but I'm going to have to wrap it up for this evening. I've only been here about half an hour, but man, there are so many people down here fishing right now. And uh, you know me, I'm kind of secretive. I don't want people really knowing what I'm doing because if I start finding good stuff, they're going to see me finding good stuff and you know talk to their friends and the friends will talk to their friends the next thing you know there'll be some other detectors down here this weekend so i'm going to scoot um i should have known better to come out on a beautiful evening uh one of the nicest evenings we've had in a month so we'll come back next time when it's raining that's the time to be on the river if you want to be a secret squirrel like mr chick i like to be a secret squirrel secret chick <laughs> all right sorry about that it's uh wasn't a very productive hunt. I mean, I got a horseshoe that I'm going to keep, and that's about it, really. There were so many, there were so many pipes down there. I'm definitely going to have to move them. See, even he wants me to go. I don't know if you noticed, but I actually have my wetsuit on. The correct way this time is not backwards. The um, zipper should always be in the back on this particular wetsuit. Much more comfortable this way. Well, I have to give a little shout out to Terry, who I just met on the bank over there. Uh, apparently he watches my videos and he recognized me as I went by. Um, so, hey Terry, tell your friend Bobby I said hi. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do a little bit more digging. Uh, I have found a few bullets over here. I figure since we have another hour or two yeah, this evening, we might as well just dig a little bit more. What do you think? Should we? They're going fishing. Blats! I can't say I've actually ever had a Blats beer. I just stuck my finger through that can so I don't have a can. Huh. I don't imagine that's too old. Man, it's really thin though. This was an old fording area right here during the Civil War. And I've actually found a lot of uh, bullets and stuff here, but I have apparently uh, cleaned it out pretty good because I haven't got a single bullet yet, but I did get this big chunk of iron I'm just wondering if any of you guys know what it is I'm not sure it looks like it might be some type of pulley. It looks like it's grooved right there uh, There was a makeshift ferry here during the war. I think At least I have a lithograph. I've seen it online that shows one here so I don't think it has anything to do with that though What do you think? Car, tractor. Hmm. I'm tempted to bring it home, but I'm going to leave this for now. I will definitely be back here this summer when the river gets lower. It's really high right now. It's probably up a good two feet. So I'm just hunting right along the bank here, hoping that maybe something washed out uh, over the years. I haven't metal detected here probably in three or four years, but I haven't found zilch yet. But I'm looking for that one bullet. I have found some nice belt buckles here in the past, though, so you never know if something could wash out of the dirt up there. We'll try just a little bit longer, but if you do know what this thing is, uh, let me know, because I'm very curious about that. See how these trees have gotten hung up right here, and it's, it's taking a big chunk out of the bank from when it floods, and this is the kind of area where things can change over the years. Now, I did not find any bullets or any other thing besides that big piece of uh, iron behind it. But that's a good place to look because when the river's flooded and the current's coming down, it's swirling around behind these things and it's digging out all the soft mud. Uh, so I was really hoping I'd find a bullet or two. But we're going to go up just on the other side of this little snag right here and look around because maybe some stuff washed out up there. And that could have changed some too uh, with the currents and the floods. 
So we're on the upriver side of this snag where it came out. And you can see how it's taking a big chunk out right here. And um, this is all kind of like new. So anything that might have been in that bank or up there in that field uh, could have washed down into here. Looks like it might be a piece of iron right there. We'll look at that. So let's get out here and look around just a few minutes. I'll uh, tether the boat up. And uh, it's nice hard uh, bottom here too, which makes it good. Hey, if I can actually get out of the boat. All right. Those are all raccoon tracks here. Look at all the raccoon tracks. I trust my boat won't float away. Yeah, there's a bunch of them in there. Well, we have a signal here. It's possible it's a bullet. Now, I'm not convinced, but it may be the one thing that we find today that keeps us from getting skunked. Obviously, we're not going to go underwater. There it is. If I can grab it. Yeah. <gasps> it's a bullet! Oh, yes, it's a Civil War bullet. We are not skunked. We are officially on the board. You know what kind that is? That's a pistol bullet. Oh, yeah. Officially on the board. I'm glad we came up here. I've dogged this place, but I guess I missed that one, didn't I? Well, again, this bank has been washed out a little bit right here, so. There might be another one or two. Let's look around some more. wonder if anyone saw that signal uh, in that last bullet clip. Listen. It's a sinker. Sounds just like a bullet. They sound almost identical. Well, they do sound identical, really, but that's a modern sinker. But that means there could be more stuff. Usually, if you find one bullet, you find you find more. They seldom, well, you find just one by itself. But drop bullets are usually a few around. Well, there's something small right here. And if you look, you can kind of see it. I can see something lead. I don't know. See the split chart or maybe a. Buckshot, let's go look at it. That's a little piece of lead of some sort. I don't know if it's melted or fired or what. It's not a sinker though, I don't think. <laughs> Probably probably washed out of this stuff right here. Look at the roots on the um, pokeweed right there. Never seen them look like that. Let's go look at that real quick. You guys have probably heard of pokeweed, you know, poke salad. There I think is a song called poke salad. And uh, that is the root for one. But you can see why they're really hard to kill. But look at that. That's kind of cool looking, isn't it? And it, these leaves right here are poke and you can eat them. But you have to boil them like three times. If you eat them like this, they're poisonous. But if you boil them three times and rinse them uh, in between, you can eat them. And they actually are quite delicious. This plant, the pokeweed, has big clusters of red berries on it. And they're really soft. So when you walk through them later in the summer, and they get crushed against you, and they'll stain your clothes. And right above the pokeweed, <laughs> poison ivy. Leaves of three, let them be. This whole bank is just nothing but poison ivy. And bullets. Another small signal here, and I can look down, I think it's a 22 bullet, a modern one. The neat thing about this area is it's a very hard, hard clay, and nothing can really get underneath of it. Uh, at least the stuff that washes out of the bank. Let's go grab it. Yep, that's a fired modern 22 bullet. We'll bag it and keep on looking. I found a beat up old shoe. I guess that's a horseshoe. And this was a fording area. Uh, it might have been lost then, or the uh, horse could have died and floated down here and lost it. But yeah, stuff is definitely washed out of the mud here because I would have found that uh, years ago and carried it out. So this would be good to come back to when the river goes down. Where I'm standing is mo should be pretty much out of water. Again, it's up a good foot and a half, two feet right now. I thought it had something good here. It felt like fabric. I was pulling on it. But it's literally a bag full of trash. Beer cans. Uh, 
That's a shame. I'll try to carry that out. I'm coming back this way. I'll grab it on the other back. I got a bullet! It's a boat tail. This is obviously not a Civil War bullet. It's a copper jacketed bullet. Um, been fired. You can see the rifling marks on it. I'm not sure how old that is. That could be 40 years. Could be 80 years. Hard to say. Well, we're going to call this a one bullet day. And hit the road, Jack. And we ain't coming back no more. Let's go. It's time to go home. Wife's going to kill me.